What's up guys, Derek from ReplaceMoreDace.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about the exact Trembolone protocol that was prescribed to women and the elderly. So a lot of people don't realize that Trembolone was in fact a human approved compound at one point by Negma Pharmaceuticals was the company. And you know, this is where the, you know, legendary Parabolin amps came from. It was Negma Laboratories under the name Parabolin. There were no published human trials though. So that's why when we say there's no, you know, human data on this compound and it's a cattle drug, it's because technically there's no data to support its efficacy. We just see that it was indeed prescribed at one point. And the reason it was prescribed is because it's anabolic to androgenic tissue selectivity. At the end of the day, a lot of people think Trenbolone has this anabolic to androgenic ratio of 500 to 500. I don't know where the statistic was pulled from because if you actually look at it in practical application, this is far more anabolic than it is androgenic. And this is why it was prescribed to women and the elderly on purpose. Like they wouldn't have approved this for human use if it wasn't considered efficacious relative to the base androgen, which is testosterone. If you use as much trenbolone as you use testosterone, then yeah, it's gonna be androgenic as hell. But if you use it in the context of the pharmaceutical industry, I'm not saying to do that, I'm just saying this is what they used it for. It was more favorable in terms of viralizing side effects and whatnot in women because it was more tissue selective and it was pulled from the market in 1997, is no longer approved for human use. Um, the dose that's used in a clinical setting, this is the interesting thing. So the box is a parable and had three ampules in it. And the dosage used in a clinical setting was purportedly 376 milligram parabolin ampules per month. And this equates to approximately 50 milligrams of active hormone per ampule after cleaving off the ester. So I'm sure you've seen that, you know, really crazy ester name before, um, hexahydrobenzyl carbonate. So it's not like there's anything special about this. It's just the ester and how long it is going to stay in the body essentially. But Anyways, that is the ester that Parabolin used for their Trenbolone. So this had a front load phase in a clinical setting of three ampules for the first 15 days, followed by a maintenance phase of one Parabolin amp every 10 days thereafter. So if you break that down in terms of dosages, that's roughly 114 milligrams of Trenbolone hex, which uh, per week for the first two weeks, and how much of that is actual active hormone, that's 75 milligrams. Obviously, when we're talking about with esters, everyone's gonna say the full dosage though. So 114 milligrams per week for the first two weeks. Then after that, 76 milligrams of Trenhex per 10 days thereafter, which is one ampule. So this is where the whole, there's three amps in a box. The reason there's three amps in a box is because you would use one every 10 days after the loading phase and it would last you exactly one month. As far as the dosage deployed by bodybuilders in the 90s when they could get a hold of these pharmaceutical grade parable and amps. It was very common and I went through all those interviews with Tom Platts with the guys from the 90s. A lot of guys, you know, talk about it now that we're in the 90s um, on RX Muscle and, you know, channels like that. And I take uh, two shots of parabolin, which were 76 milligrams. I take that a, a week with uh, one every three days of primabolin and, and I take Winstrol one cc a day. You know, I don't think they're all lying. They all said that essentially what they would use parabolin wise was two ampules a week at most and then some guys would really push the envelope and use three a week and that was like a high dosage at the time and this is reinforced by a lot of guys that are seen as very credible sources of information i have no reason not to believe them to be honest and i'm sure even getting access to significantly more than that actually i have no idea if it was hard to get access to but i would just assume it was based on the fact that it was discontinued in that decade and there was probably a limited quantity in circulation i imagine it being based in uh i think it was france i imagine it was probably pretty hard to get um i don't really know though at the end of the day pretty much every guy had the same story so i doubt they all you know like coordinated their efforts to trick people in the you know current era as far as bodybuilding goes all the 90 uh, 90s guys said two to three amps per week was the max they would go and um, you have to consider this is on top of everything else they're using. So I have no reason not to believe this and it kind of just goes to show how ridiculous the dosages are now. And I've done a video on that on trend below dosages now. I compared it to cattle. I compared it to the dosages used in the 90s. And frankly, a lot of guys are just abusing the shit out of it unnecessarily. And it is completely unnecessary. And frankly, I don't even think it has a place unless it's used in a cutting contest pre-contest for um, offsetting muscle catabolism, getting that sick, you know, recomp effect. Um, antagonizing glucocorticoid receptors and getting that enhanced level of 
um, protein sparing that you would otherwise not get from other and other anabolics in a deficit. So take from that what you will. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, like, subscribe helps the algorithm when you guys do that. Hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at Marplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, BitChute, um, Apple Podcasts, TikTok. I don't, I don't even know which ones I said already. Um, if you want to support the channel, check out GorillaMode.com. Link in description below. It contains my turnkey pre-workout formulas. Check out the labels. I promise you it's more potent than whatever you're currently using. And you will not be disappointed by my formulations as well as my cognitive enhancing nootropic formulas, which are on par with the quality as well. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.